What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies 2. We are still in Poker's party season, but guess what? There's a brand new plant available for early access. It's the Pyre Vine. Looks like we're going to check it out. We're going to get the bundle. Let's go see how much it is, just so you guys know. Uh, this week we got a Poker Boss Fight tournament, which I'm probably going to dive into a little bit more next episode. Uh, but right now I want to take a look and see exactly. Uh, there we go. For $14.99, you get 100 seed packets to unlock the Pyre Vine. And, uh, oh, it looks like you can get individual Pokra uh, seed packets as well. Very cool. Very cool. The plant of the week seems to be the Explodo Nut. So I'm going to get some stuff, and I'll be right back as soon as I have it. All right, here is the Pyre Vine ready to be unlocked. And we got it. Unlocking. You unlocked the Pyre Vine. <laughs> Dramatic. Okay, so it's cost one. it has a warming radius, which means it'll be great for Frostbite Caves. Uh, it also has a sun cost of 125 as part of the Peppermint family. Pyre vines can be planted on top of other plants to provide protection from cold, plus an additional close range flame attack. Pyre vine considers his holdings, his fortune, his vast hoard of wealth. He feels it should please him, and yet, nevertheless, he is anxious and fearful. So, that is the story behind Pyre vine. And uh, so, what are we going to do with him? I mean, obviously, we're going to bring him in the Frostbite Caves, but we're going to go around and kind of just get familiar with him in uh, the regular adventure mode. We're going to start off with. Um, with uh but we'll see we'll see he might be kind of like wasabi whip in a way let's go ahead and uh go oh, where am i okay modern day no need exactly um but if i go into ancient egypt we can get a very very basic feel for what pyrevine is all about just by going to one of these later stages and having some fun and then we'll kind of figure out what we want to do next uh he might be good in dark ages if he's a melee fighter uh let's go to 23 i think that's a good stage to check out so uh let's see here what are we gonna do We got, um, okay, let's bring in, I mean, pretty much, I just, I only want to bring in Pyrevine, right? <laughs> no. But, uh, we could, oh, that'd be so cool. Let's bring in Wasabi Whip, too. I'm going to bring in, uh, we need some, some sort of sun production, so let's bring in, uh, and let's, let's only basically do sun production here. Let's, uh, bring in that. That looks good, right? Uh, that. And then we have plenty of uh, slots here. Let's bring in Wasabi Whip. Also, Peppermint, since it's a Peppermint-type plant. Wasabi Whip, there we go. But, but so Wasabi Whip is not a fire plant, so let's see. Okay, let's just see what happens. Oh, I have to bring in one more? Okay, fine. Uh, we'll bring in... <laughs> I don't even know. Let's see what happens. I, I'm really curious what's going to happen here. Uh, put this, this, this... There we go. It takes a while to charge it up, though, huh? All right. Uh. Okay. Okay. So it's a little. It's almost like the jack o' lantern. Okay. I didn't know. It's still going. Holy cow! Is it just just keep? Does it stop? This is really interesting. I should have imitated the pyre vine. It takes forever. First up, he's taking forever to damage the, uh... Okay, he is taking him out. Okay, there we go. Yeah, they, I like how they just keep going. That's really cool. I have plenty of sun. I kind of want to see... This is really intriguing. I've not seen the Pyrevine before. Like I said, I don't want to look into the spoilers because I don't want to be spoiled. <laughs> So, um, you know, my idea, you know, if it is, yeah, that's, that's really cool. Let's see. Let's go ahead. Let's see if I can, let's put in Pyre, let's put in, uh, Wasabi Whips up front. So that we can really, really, I mean, the Wasabi Whips are probably going to take care of these guys super easy. It's just how it is. But I like how chill this is. This is pretty cool. Oh, oh, he was boosted, so got him. Yeah, but that's almost not fair. We should take out we should take out the wasabi whips. That's almost too easy. I wish I could just shovel up Okay, well there you go. We're gonna we're gonna still do the whole idea of two uh two columns here of the pyre vine. Here we go. I know this is taking a while, but basically, Wasabi Whip makes it too easy. My Wasabi Whip is so powerful, I can't even really see what Pyrevine's all about. 
Like, because the Wasabi Whip just, like, boom, kills him, like, in a few hits. So this will be inter interesting. If they can make it through here, if he can make it through there. Does he burn my Pyrovine? Oh, my gosh. He burned the Pyrovine. Wasabi Whip. Oh, no. Impair. Boom. Sure. Wasabi Whip. How about Wasabi Whip is a backup plan? That's what it is. Wasabi Whip's my backup plan here. He's not even in the Pyrovine. But if he gets too close, then it's a problem, huh? So we're gonna see. Does two is two pyre vines enough? We'll see. I mean, at level one, obviously these things can be uh, a lot stronger. All right, let's see. Is he gonna take care of the conehead guy or not? There's two flames on him. Okay, good. Does take care of coneheads. We could try for a third column if we want. Just to add a little extra protection. All right. This is going pretty good, but let's see if the Buckethead guy, with three Pyre Vines, do you think the Buckethead guy is going to die, or do you think he's going to eat through the three Pyre Vines? And, uh, he ate one. <laughs> oh, and then the wasabi whip is like, no, enough. You can't do this to the pyre vines. And the wasabi whip is like, boom, hit him in the head. Okay, so things are going great, right? All right, well, I'm, I'm happy. This is good. We are, we, we, I mean, this is taking a while though. I should have built them closer up. We do get the idea of how this works, but we, this is a very slow strategy. Let's boost one. Oh wow, the whole, the whole row. That was, did he die though? Hold on. No, he's still there, okay. <laughs> I was like, did he wait, did he? Okay. I got confused for a second. That's okay. Now they're burning them up. Final wave coming through. Let's just see if all these pyre vines can stop the gargantuar. They might make it all the way to the wasabi whip and eventually just be like, nope. Wasabi whip's like, nope, gargantuar, you can't do that. All right, there's one dead. There's two dead. All right, the wasabi whip is now serious about this. He's like, okay, you can't do this to my friends. So there we go. All right, so, I mean, that's interesting how that works. Obviously, you know, if you want some extra fire damage, put it on top of another plant. I think it's gonna go great. And so, uh, let's see. But it's just close up fire damage. I wonder if it can be upgraded to so that the range is bigger. Because right now it's two, like two tiles. But do uh, you think, I don't know. Let's take a look at it really quick, I don't know. Uh, if we got, okay, hold on. Let's see what we got here. Let's, let's go back to the almanac really quick. Pyre vine. Do you think the range will ever be increased? Toughness, flame length. It will. It probably will be increased. So that's very cool. Um, so yeah. Okay. Let's go into pirate seas. I always like to do a particular pirate seas stage, just to see how plants work in mass against weaker enemies. The weaker enemy, of course, being the imps. And so uh, they're not going to be able to take out the cannons, of course. But maybe we'll see them take out, you know, uh, a bunch of imps. And this might be another long stage, but it's a good test. And it's stage 22. And basically I just throw them out there, see what happens, see what sticks. And see if this can be almost like a farming type situation where you can just set it, forget it, let it let it play out. Let's see, let's bring in whatever else, it doesn't matter to me. Um, oh, it imitated that, interesting, okay. This costs 125 each, let's see how many we can put down. I can't even do the math in my head right now. Uh, okay. Let's rock with this. I'm gonna fast forward. And we shall see, um... Uh... Okay. It takes out the, the imps. Before the imps can even bite them, so that's good. But we'll see what happens, because when they shoot out, the imps are gonna kinda go everywhere. 
And when they do that, then they might actually get eaten, but we'll see. These guys, uh, I, I think they took it by the first one because they're so close, but so far we're handling this and we're gonna we're gonna get a bunch of imps when they well i just want to wait to see what happens when the cannons explode that's basically it that's basically what i'm waiting for see okay okay see the imps probably took a couple bites of those okay one one was eaten but it was a close-up one i was kind of expecting those to have a little more difficulty okay so far so good there we go. There's a whole bunch of imps. Oh, they didn't eat any. This is promising. Yeah, this is promising for sure. All right, boom. Well, <laughs> oh, see, there we go. That's the farming aspect of it. Like, some items dropped out of the cannons that exploded. Well, so far, they've eaten through almost the first full column. We just gotta see if they can make it, you know? All right, hold up, hold up. Okay. Okay, okay. They've almost eaten through the first entire two columns. But we'll see, we'll see about it. We'll see what happens. All right, got those coins that dropped down. They've eaten through like the first two, three, full, whatever. They're all the way, so let's see what happens. I don't know if this is gonna be a major issue or not, but let's see. So far, so good, right? Final wave. A whole bunch of imps. See, the imps don't go far enough to, to uh, if they shut the imps back even further, then they those plants might actually be in danger. But so far, so good, in my view. This is just a really slow way to do it. I mean, there are plants that would, that, that would be able to, to take care of this pretty easily. Uh, like bowling bulbs, for example, are really quick. Electric pea shooters are really quick, especially now at this stage that I have them. But there, there we go. There, these all burn. We succeeded. This was a, a successful test. Look at that. It's not every day you can say that. So that's... So the uh, the pyre vines are really good in numbers against zomb weak zombies in numbers. So that's kind of the way to look at it there. Now, what we could do as a further test is we could then bring them into... Um, what do I want to do? I guess what I want to do is I want to bring them uh, into Frostbite Caves. I can't think of anything else. Because that actually showcases their their ability to thaw. And so if we bring them into the hardest frostbite cave stage, then we can take a real good look at that. Real good gander. And uh, yeah, let's see. All the way over. Squeeze me. Stage 26 is this the testing grounds that I like to use, I think. Yeah, this is it. So another thing, uh, I'm assuming that the weasels are going to be weak. So let's just see what happens. What, what do we got here? Yeah, we got two things. Okay, we're going to use um, we're going to use sun shrooms, and we're going to use uh, probably the enlightenments. Pyre vines, of course. Should we use pyre vines almost exclusively, just to see, or should we mix it up a little? Maybe we could mix it up a little. You know, something with um. Well, I don't know, man. This seems pretty. They seem pretty effective, but they don't have great range. So what we could do is, well, we could imitate them because I, I'm going to need them out quicker than what is usually provided. 
So gold blue makes sense. Maybe I could go ahead and just kind of mix it up with, uh, I mean, wasabi would make so much sense. It's so easy to do. We could, you know what we could do? We could do, we could do color power. Just for fun. Because we're still going to have to deal with the weasels coming through. And I think if I use any other plants, uh, it's going to be a lot too much, too strong. <laughs> it's just too strong. Um, we could also bring in, what else can we bring in? I'll bring this in just in case. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I like the idea of it being able to keep everything thawed. Uh, so let's do deal with that really quick. We're going to have a chance to put them down in just a second. Uh, one there, one there. How about that? That's going to thaw them out, right? That's great. Oh my gosh. That was quick, too. That's a, that's a decent thaw. Let's put this down here. There you go. Talk about it. This is good stuff. I, I'm going to go ahead and want two full columns of these. All right. So far, so good, right? I think two call of powers might be enough. Maybe I'll do three. Because really, we want to just see everything's being nice and thawed. This is great. Now, if the weasels come out. Yeah, here come the weasels. So the weasels die in the flames. These, the pyre vine's actually really effective at defense. I'll bring in one more. I'll bring in one more. There you go. That was lucky because I actually had the uh, the boost on it. But we kind of get the point. So let me just let me, let's do this. I love that it does both of them. That's so cool. I kind of want to try the pirate vine with tile turnips, and maybe we could do that on, on the far future. Like, do a build that. Oh, look at those weasels just dying so quick. I love it. That's great. We get the idea. Here we go. Kick some guys back. Not a big deal. Final wave. Adios, my pals. All right, we kind of got the idea, so I've kind of super fast forwarded. We it worked, it worked very well. And uh, also, Dark Ages would be a great check as well. Uh, so yeah, this this is really intriguing. This is working out better than I expected, honestly. So let's go now. Uh, I think Far Future is going to be a good test because I really just want to see how they work with the tile turnips. I don't know which stage to do. I always forget what stage to do in Far Future. You know, make it interesting. Let's make it like 23, something really hard. Okay, no. This one never have more than 15 plants, been no more than I don't like, I don't like that. I think there's going to be a challenge because it wasn't it was marked like a regular one. So, let's take a step back really quick. Let's uh, exit to the map. My bad. I always forget which one to do in this state. Like uh, anyway, you guys get the idea. All right, 23 is a no-go. What about 21? I don't want any extra stipulations. If it's to make a bunch of sun, then okay, but I don't know. Again, I'm limited on what to do. Never have more than 16 plants. Does a tile, I don't know. We can probably pull this off. I don't know, I don't like that. Okay, anyway. Never have more than 16 plants, but we gotta produce a lot of sun, so of course we're gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring in, uh, you know, gosh, this is so confusing. Okay. This. This. Uh, yeah, the, the, the pyre vine imitated because we want them out quick. And then we also want to be able to have power lilies. We also want to be able to have sun. So we're going to bring it in like this. And I think actually let's bring in. That's good, right? What do you guys think? Is this good enough? And then Blover, because uh, there's a lot of flying guys. I hope I produce enough sun here. Let's see. Uh, 
What color do you think it's gonna choose? Yeah, purple. Nice. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. We've already produced 400 something. Alrighty, here we go. So we now have uh, an entire column if we want to use, you know, plant food. This is probably going to work just fine. Uh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, there we go. We're not really faced with a lot of stuff here, so let's, let's focus on sun production here. There we go. We have two full columns of, uh, oh, I'm at my plant limit. Okay, yeah, so we're fine. We have two full columns. At least it doesn't just make us die like it used to. This is so slow. Which, which is good. That means we have plenty of time to produce 5,000 sun. I can't even do, uh... Yeah, hold on. Goodbye. There we go. Now here we go, here's the test. Awesome, but keep in mind that there are guys in the sky. So goodbye guys in the sky. And it's enough to, wow, that's enough to take care of a lot of things. Look at that. It just ends everyone. Well, except for the really strong things. We're to 5,000 coins now, now we don't have to worry about it. So that that somehow even hurts the people flying. I didn't think the fire would hurt the people flying in the air, but it does. That's why I brought in the blower, but it does hurt them, so that's really cool. All right. Sure, yeah, take him out. That guy's dead. That's not strong enough to take out him, though, so we would have to do two hits to take out him, yeah. But it is strong enough to take out all the weaklings, so that's really interesting. That gets rid of like one of them. All right. Uh, come on now. Wow, that's super cool. So two hits for the big mechs. Holy cow, this is amazing. Oh, I should have waited. I should have waited. Final wave is here. All right, I could indeed use some more help. Here we go. Burning all the weak ones. I like how just how much that takes out. That is so phenomenal. If I can get another plant food, then I'll be set, but I may not get it. Blover. over or if they just walk close enough <laughs> it's so easy though to take those guys out yeah now they're walking close enough so this might just be enough but here I'm gonna go and use the plant food here we go dead what can I say that's pretty nice that's a pretty this pyre vine's been doing pretty good for us I'm not, the other thing, the final thing I want to really showcase is Dark Ages. I think it's going to be great in Dark Ages, especially with the Jesters. The Jesters are always something I worry about. Uh, but let's see, what, oh, you know, we actually, we got to try Big Wave Beach too with this. Because uh, we got to see what happens when like the octopus comes out. Like it's going to take out the octopuses probably. But we got to make sure of it. And then it's going to be hard. I mean, the, the Big Wave Beach is such a challenging thing for me. But Dark Ages, let's go ahead and go in really quick. And see what we got. If we go all the way, where are we going? Here we go. We're going. Uh, 16 is the stage that I like to do. Uh, 
Okay. So let's just be clear. Uh, I think, I think what we have, I mean, so I got to worry about turning them into sheep as well. So okay, uh, what was wrong with what we had? Well, what we had was pretty good. So we'll stick with it. But I also probably want to bring in like a magnet shroom or something to to take care of the um. To, 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 uh, to take care of the helmet guys. There it is. <laughs> I always forget where it is. So uh, let's be let's be absolutely calm about this. We got this. Not a big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting these up here. Magnet shroom. One two. This is this is gonna be a good strategy, I feel. Alright, one there. Please take him out quickly. Please don't let him eat him. Come on. Alright. We're gonna I'm gonna take a step back here really quick. Cause I didn't know if I would have enough time. Alright, magnet stream there. This is a little scary, but let's see what happens. Oh darn it, I didn't have a I didn't have the blastberry vine or the the uh, pyre vine on that tile. Oops. Yikes. Okay, here we go. Now we have them on all tiles. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's good stuff. So don't mess with me, wizard. Okay, we don't quite have... Okay. Alright, so he's eating. He's eating. Whatever. More sun, please. Are we good with this yet? What is taking us so long? Here we go. Okay, we do have blastberry vines on all of them. There you go. There you go. Now we... Th there we go. That's what we're talking about. That's a good strategy, right? And we're... Oh, they moved. Oh my gosh, they moved. That's not what I wanted to have happen at all. Yikes. Here we go. We still have a shot at this. Don't eat them. Okay, some of them. We, they were missing a row. Okay, one of them slipped back here in the back. Come on, dude. They're ruining my tiles. Alright, this is scary, huh? There we go. There you go. That's all we had to do. They're not... They're, oh, you know what? You know what would have been best? I should have just put the tiles in the very back. I could have had sun production. I could have had all sorts of stuff. That's what... That's fine. That's fine. I should have put the tiles in the back. That's what I should have done. But now I know what's wrong. Alright. This is just a mess because of, oh, of the way the graves are working here. I need one more... Uh, there we go. Take him out first. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Vroom! Effortless. Yeah, these things should have been way in the back. What was I thinking? Let's do it again. Here we go. Burning them. Burning them. I mean, it's such, such an effective strategy. I want to try the same exact strategy on uh, Big Wave Beach. And they'll have to be in the back, so we gotta we gotta play it right. I'll have to figure it out somehow. Can't lose more than so many plants or whatever. Okay, let's let's get it done. So big wave beach. Let's see. Um 
I guess, uh, yeah, let's just take a step back. Yeah, this is gonna be fun-ish. <laughs> I always forget, again, this is another one where I always forget what stage to actually try to pull off. All right, um, let's go to, is it 28? I forget. I think 28 might be a little, like, abrasive in terms of its stipulation, so. Huh, let's see. Don't lose more than five plants. This is fine. Um, so we're gonna, yeah, basically, like, uh, a similar situation here. And then instead of that, I, I really want to, you know, maybe I need lily pads, probably. Um, or... We can't lose more than five plants. We might be fine without lily pads, but I don't want to risk it. So let's go with this. Um, yeah, you know what I actually want? I want... Um, I want to imitate the power lily this time around. I'm going to be a little more, you know, conservative with this. I think this is going to be good, though. I kind of still want to bring in the, uh... Hmm. I do want to bring in the infinite. Ah, what? I forgot. I have to. I can't lose plants. Okay. Repick. Well, this ain't great. Alright, so I guess we won't do a tile turn up strategy. Ugh. Well, this isn't really the one I want to showcase then. If, if this one requires me. Let's just restart then. Let's, let's exit the map. If this one requires me to. Not. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hold up. Let me backtrack here. If I can't lose plants, what about 27? Is 27 more forgivable? Because I I really just want to try the strategy, but I don't want to risk losing. <laughs> uh, with the most plants picked for you. Oh, most plants. Hold on. Most plants. Okay, I like this. I like this. Most plants are picked for me. That means I still have the option to bring in the pyre vine. And I still have the option to bring in maybe tile turnips? I don't know. And then uh, also power lilies. So let's give this a real go. This is a this is gonna be more fun than the I always showcase the other stage. Uh power lilies. Okay. This is what we got. Alright. Oh, I can't plant on the tide. Oof. That's okay. We need sun production. Maybe the tide will go down? Maybe not. Uh, let's see. Oh, I hope the tile does go down. There we go. We got three items there. We got the <laughs> lily pad. Wow, that's cool. Alright, hold on. Let's see. He's going to get close. This is going pretty good. I hope the tide does go down, though. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. All right, burning him. There we go. All right, we got like five of the uh, of the of the twin sunflowers. Okay, so the a bigger guy is coming up, so I need to have another uh, another vine there. We'll we'll get it in a second. Of course, these guys might walk a little slowly. I don't know. Let's see. 
We may not. We didn't. We, we may not get a chance to use uh, the tile turnups. The, the tide may not. Uh, you know, go down at all. All right, we have 10 of the twin sunflowers. We have a staging ground for our power lilies, if I can say the words properly. Still, I can hear the flames. I can hear the flames. This is just, here, let's go faster, go faster. All right, he's probably gonna eat that that lily pad. But that's okay, I suppose. Let's put down two. <laughs> just so. All right, we're doing great. All right, here we go. Huge wave of zombies. I don't think the tide's going down. I don't re remember how this stage works, but I don't think the tide's going down anymore. But we have a, a full plant food, pretty much. I will, you know what? I will put this down. So I can start targeting uh, the guys with helmets, because the guys with helmets are going to be really strong. But, uh, let's see. Alright, take her out. Now, these guys, as soon as they pop up, that's when they start getting fried. So, we want them to pop up early. So, we do want to go ahead and keep putting down lily pads, probably. So that they do pop up. Okay, here's here's the issue. This guy, does this fire kill him? Fire kills him. Low tide, low tide. This is great. We can start putting on the tiles. Here we go. This is nice. This is nice. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Burning him. Burning him. Is the octopus burned? He's burned. All right. This is good. I, I don't know if the tide, tide's going to go back, but we now can put down the tile turnips, which is super cool. That one's burning the octopus. You see it burning the octopus nice and slow? That's interesting, right? Let's do another one. Here we go. We're going to burn all these guys. Now, the helmet guys might take... No, the helmet guys are gone instantly. Holy cow. All right, this is awesome. Thank you, low tide. Do it again. Here we go. Now, he managed to get that going. That's okay. Got another plant food. Let's get some more out here. I, uh, here we go. You know what? Darn it. So, that's a real shame. Hold up. We gotta we gotta prepare for this. We gotta prepare for this. Here we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. Hold on. Dead. Look at that. Look at that. There we go. That was super useful. The tide's coming back though. I don't know if I'm gonna lose my tiles. I might. But we're almost done with this. Burning them. Oh, he see he didn't get burned in time. Burn him now, please. Huge wave of zombies. That didn't Oh the tiles are gone! The tiles are gone! I'm gonna attack the Octo Zombie there. The tiles are gone. Now, I wonder if, if the tide were to go back down, would that bring the tiles back or are the tiles just gone for now? You know what I mean? I think that's gonna be the ultimate question that I have. Let's put a, put a lily pad there so he pops up. We can bring back the Pyre Vine there. So here they are. They are slowly getting burned, singed. All right, and he's uh, gone, but hold on, let's see. Got the rest of these guys, not a big deal. Not a big deal, we got this. He ate the vine. He ate the vine too, that's okay. What was I expecting? He did, oh, the, the, I, okay, there we go. Well guys, I hope that's been a nice and proper showcase of everything right there that you wanted to see about the pyre vine. Next episode, we're going to go into the arena mode, and we're going to showcase that boss fight that is involved with Pokra. And then when we do that, uh, I think you guys are going to be, going to be happy. Pyrevine's pretty powerful. I would uh, consider getting it if you don't mind. <laughs> You're paying the early access cost. But there's probably next month going to be, or next week or whatever, be an event uh, where you can earn them. So that's another thing to think about. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.